Gorilla Geek going 10-8. Finally the weather broke and I could at least try to uh, install this antenna or erect a uh, tower which is going to be a Roan H30 telescopic mast which is this pole right here. Right there is 10 feet worth of it and it's got two other sections inside of it that's telescopic and it could reach up to 30 feet up in the sky. So that's going to be up and I'm going to utilize this old satellite dish installation here that was originally here on this property that's uh, obsolete no longer in use but I'm going to use the old hardware to uh, make my life a bit easier. So here's part of the bracket system there. There's sort of like a cradle to it and uh, some other miscellaneous bowl here. So okay bits and pieces. This satellite dish thing is not going to work. This was supposed to be made to be pointed at an angle 45 degrees or something uh, against uh, the horizon towards the south, south west but uh and the way they sort of built this uh metal bracket and everything it, it doesn't it doesn't let the uh the uh, dish bracket here to be perpendicular up and down um straight so scratch that idea and I have to go to plan b so that particular setup is not going to work for me at all so i'm gonna have to take this out plan b is to use these uh pipe brackets here. I have one here already set up. Uh, one side of it is clamped down to the original pipe and then you have another section here to uh, clamp in another set of pipe right next to it. And I'll have one here in the bottom, middle, and the top here. So it'll have a nice strong connection to the, to the original pipe there. Uh, and that should serve uh, just as good as my original idea. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I should break out the boxes to tell you what this thing looks like and the name and nomenclature and all that. Alright. Well there's the bracket. I got three of them on there right now. And currently I think the company that makes it now is called Radio Frequency Systems. And the model number to this kit is... Uh, PD46. There's another company called Cellwave and they make the same bracket and I think it's almost the same part number but uh, this bracket here is hot dip galvanized for uh, weatherproofing, uh, prevent rust and all that good stuff and uh, the, diameter, the diameter that this thing is able to, to accept is uh, up to the maximum of three inches of pipe and then you could affix another pipe right next to it and this is pretty much standard tower hardware uh, for low to medium level equipment such as this antenna or whatever you know just three inch pipe or whatever so that's part of it right there well, I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, connector on one of these ends here it'll be similar to this if it comes out on the uh, camera here don't know yet but uh, everything that I'm using is pretty much uh, surplus leftover scraps from uh, other jobs that I've done or repairs or whatever so if it's a good serviceable length but not good enough for stuff on the job you know where usually they're thrown out or recycled uh, I keep and use for my own use uh, recycling on my own I guess but uh, normally you guys won't have none of this stuff because it just makes too it costs too much for to justify having like this jig here and stuff like that uh, they have instructions on how to do the connectors by hand and this cable here if you got deep pockets then yeah you could buy this type of cable uh, it is a uh, Andrews Heliax LDF F4 50A or uh, short or nickname uh, Heliax half inch hardline that's pretty much how we go we call it uh, for short uh, but it's got an official name or nomenclature and this here is just a jig to make uh, a perfect uh, cuts into the cable there so you can fit your connectors on so here we go There you 
go. It'll make the perfect cuts for you right there. So this particular connector here is uh, solderless. I just want to do a, a snug fit. Not a death grip, but a nice snug uh, fit there so you can take it apart later on if you need to do any replacements. And now, the most important part of this would be uh, weatherproofing. So I want to do a base layer of electrical tape, uh, another layer of uh, self-fusing tape, then another layer of, uh, two layers of self-fusing tape, and then a final layer, two layers of uh, electrical tape on top. And that would render this uh, waterproof. Well guys, I'm running out of daylight today, so I'm gonna cut this thing short. So uh, the progress that I got here is, uh, I got my disc cone antenna way on top of this mast here. And I'm working on the ground right now. I got this thing extended out to 20 feet. It's a manageable length for me to manhandle this by myself and uh, clamp it onto the pole right there under three points there. So that's what I got so far. I ran the uh, thick ass half inch hard line cable all the way to the top there. There's my pigtail for the uh, disc cone antenna. That's almost ready to go. And right at about this point here is my connection point between the hard line cable and the pigtail to the uh, disc cone antenna. And uh, I cannot stress overkilling the uh, weatherproofing. Overkill it. Do it two, three times more than what you think you should need. That would save you a whole lot of problems later on because uh, when you put these antennas out here in the uh, elements, uh, your number one enemy is the elements. I think I've mentioned that 20 billion times before and I'm going to do it again. So what I got down here is a, uh, a base layer of uh, electrical tape. I'm, I had it going from the top to the bottom, then from the bottom all the way up to the top again. So the orientation of the, uh, the wraps will be sort of like shingles, one on top of each other. So when it rains, the rain of course is going to go down this way, it's just going to slick off the tape on its way down. So that was my base layer of electrical tape. Uh, the layer on top of that was uh, rubber self-fusing tape and I did the same thing started from the top one layer down then one layer up and that gives me that orientation of the uh, the tape uh, to work at like shingles and then on top of that two more layers of uh, of electrical tape on top Captain, there are doubts. 